This will be a quick demo of Parallels Access. When you launch Parallels Access, you can see the Macs and window machines you can connect to. Let's connect to this IBM ThinkPad. The user interface of Parallels Access is very application-centric. I can launch Word 2013, open a document. I can scroll that document just using a single finger in the center of the iPad screen. I can double tap a word to select it, and notice I have the selection style of an iPad with the pins at the end. I can triple tap a paragraph to select the entire paragraph. Or I can hold down my finger, get the magnifying glass, and select out a piece of text with just one finger. When the text is selected, I can of course use any of the operations in Word, for example, make that bold face to change its color. And when I change its color, I can also use live selection to preview the color while I'm looking at it with this magnifying glass to get exactly the color I want. I can take this paragraph of text, select it, copy it, go now to another iPad application, paste that in, copy and paste is fully supported, including text and graphics. When I go back to Parallels Access, my document is in the same state it was before. If I open another document, I still have the ability to scroll with a single finger, of course, but I can even use that magnifying glass to select graphics and to modify them. I'm selecting the graphic. I'm now moving it to a different spot in the document. I'm going to use that magnifying glass to select the edge of the graphic. And now I can enlarge it or shrink it or whatever I want to do. I can go back and launch other applications on the same machine, for example, Excel. Excel, as you know, is very uh, centered, its user interface is very centered on the idea of custom cursors to give me certain controls. Well, here, Parallels Access is telling me, yes, I know you want to make this column wider, so we can do that here. When I go back to um, look at the applications that are running, I can see both Excel and Word. Word has two documents open. I can see little thumbnails of those documents and jump to the particular one I want to deal with at, the, at this moment. I can disconnect from this machine and connect to a Macintosh. A Macintosh will have a very similar user interface. I'll see a bunch of applications. In addition to Mac applications, because this Mac is running Parallels Desktop, I'll also see the Windows applications. Parallels Access and Parallels Desktop are independent products, but when they're both get, or when Parallels Access is used to connect to a Mac that is running Parallels Desktop, I also see the Windows applications. I could launch, for example, TextEdit, see its standard dialog picker, open up some recent documents, open up another one, scroll that document with my fun finger, zoom it. I can go back and launch another application, for example, IE. Launching IE on a Macintosh, I can go to a particular web page, go to that web page, and play a movie. This will give you some feeling for the speed of Parallels Access. That's my quick demo today. Thank you very much.